first baseman, Drew Walker, to lead it off and face Kershaw. We'll get to Kershaw's numbers in a minute. Oh, yes. Strike one to Walker. Oh, beautiful pitch, Kershaw. Clayton coming in here. That's his batting average. Not too bad in that department either. Kershaw at 9-0 on the season, a .059 ERA. ERA. Let's look at the strikeout total, 109 in 47 and two-thirds innings. And even I know that that is more than two an inning. Coach Jones is giving me confirmation. <laughs> Fouled off, and Kershaw looks like the velocities are not a problem here on the early going. One and two, the count on Walker. Regional quarterfinal. Oh, see you later, Walker and Kershaw. Strikes out the first man he faces. Here's Story, he had a pair of RBIs last night. Shortstop for the Texans. One away here in the top of the first. Good question from Roy Zethris, our producer director in the truck. Wonder if they faced anybody like Kershaw all year. And Roy, I'm going to reach out on a limb and, and answer that. No. <laughs> Nor have they ever seen anybody like Kershaw in their entire baseball careers. One and one, the count. Kershaw something special. In uh, 16 years of watching baseball over here, he's uh, well, gifted to say the least. Fastball story can't catch up with it. One and two. Highland Park in the top of the bracket, along with 11 4A's Mesquite Poteet in the bottom of the bracket. And uh, I know it'll all be decided when you see this, but I just love to say this. Poteet got run ruled last night. I don't know why I enjoy saying that so much, but I do. So they're down 0-1 in their series, and good luck to McKinney North tonight. Two and two. Oh. Count goes full on Story. Kershaw also excellent control. See ya. The smoke, two up, two down. <laughs> and here comes Adrian Brown. Brown, a tremendous night last night, four for four. A couple nice plays in right field. Six home runs on the season. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Kershaw, one of the senior co-captains. Whoo! Oh, and two. Kershaw's been able to shake off the rust here in the top of the first inning. Uh, he struck out the first two batters. Two away here. And Brown does well to get a piece of that breaking ball. Stays 0-2. Good look there, Kershaw. Some be a little bit of a factor at the plate right now, too. Yeah, Brown shaded toward right. Very close. Low for a ball. One and two. Mentioned it last night. Texans advance to this round by defeating Dallas Spruce and then Sulphur Springs in the area round. Island Park swept Paris and then swept Hillcrest. And the Scots come in at 27 and five on the season. Two and two now, the count on Brown. Good look there at Sam Gadd, looking over to the dugout. Coach Kennedy. Calling his shot here. Let's see if Kershaw delivers. 
See you later. Coach Hall strikes out the side. We first inning for the Scott seniors. He struck out the side. And the cleanup batter, Hardy, will lead it off here for Justin Northwest. One to nothing, Highland Park. Scott's looking to sweep out the Texans and move on to the Region 2 semifinals. Pitch is outside, one and one to Hardy. Hardy out there in left field for Justin Northwest. Cannot catch up with that pitch, one and two. And Coach Kennedy's seen a lot of that this season. Clayton Kershaw getting ahead of hitters. And you know what? I think I could call pitches for Kershaw. Just going out on a limb. Woo, curveball. See you later, Hardy. Four up, four down, four strikeouts for the big left-hander. And now Lawrence, the catcher, will step in. Lawrence uh, hit by a pitch twice last night. Thought he wanted to bump Kershaw after the second time he got beamed. Kershaw laughed at him, and now he faces him at the plate. <laughs> and get you some of that, Lawrence. One and one, the count. One to nothing here. Top of the second inning. Foul ball, strike two. One and two. The count on Lawrence. Tillotson, the second baseman, waits on deck. Woo, high heat. Take a seat. And now Tillotson will try his luck with two away. Oh. Great conditions, absolutely calm out here. A little on the warm side today, but good baseball weather. That's a strike, and the count now one and one on Tillotson. One one pitch on the way from Kershaw. Oh, slow bender, strike two. One and two with two out here in the top of the second. Scott's got a run in the bottom of the first. And the way this guy's going, it looks like that might be all they need. High and inside, Tillotson lays off. And the count now two and two. Very close. It's going to go in the books as ball three. Kershaw headed to the dugout. Strike three. Clayton Kershaw has struck out the side twice. Welcome back, everybody, to the beautiful Scotland Yard on an absolutely perfect night here for playoff baseball. Scott's in front here. Clayton Kershaw doing fairly well. Six straight strikeouts. And he'll face the number seven hitter, Rhett Varner, whose course was on the hill last night. In game one, took the loss. And he can take strike one as the fastball over the inside corner. Too much for Varner to deal with. Varner, Ashley, and Collins. Scheduled hitters for Northwest. As we go here in the top of the third inning. It's game number two, the regional quarters. One and one the count on Varner. Breaking pitch, no chance for Varner as he just whiffs at that ball. And one and two now. 
Kershaw looking to get a little revenge on Varner, who had the upper hand on him last night. Sit down. Strikeout number seven in a row for Kershaw. Here's Ashley, the DH. He'll hit with one away. Yeah, uh, good point, Roy. He will be at the plate with one away. Now, whether he'll hit anything is highly debatable. One and oh, the count. One and one. Yes, sir. Not a bad idea. Tries to bunt. That's got to be a strike. One and two. And Kershaw once again ahead in the count. He's gone three and two once, came back with a bullet. To strike out Tillotson. Just misses high. Two and two. One away here. We are in the top of the third inning. Number nine hitter, Tyler Collins, waits. Eight up, eight down, eight strikeouts for Kershaw. Wow. And you know that dugout over there with the red jerseys is going, are you kidding me? No, my friends, we are not kidding you. Just outside, ball one to Collins. Fastball is in there, one and one. Good look at Kershaw. Are you kidding me? That was called a ball. Even, even Coach Gibbons, the, the most neutral of observers, thought that was a strike. And he looked like he's slaying anyway. And I think Kershaw could really give the Texans four strikes per at bat and be just fine. Gad's going to come out and say, hey, man. How about strikeout number nine? <laughs> None of these guys can hit. Oh, to have fun. Have Clayton Kershaw on the hill for you. Eight straight strikeouts. And what a fun time of year to still be playing baseball. One more week of school left, and the Scots hope they've got about three or four weeks of baseball left. Now that pitch outside, and three and two now, the count to Collins. Nine up, nine down, nine strikeouts. Clayton Kershaw on fire. Art Finley back with you. What did I miss? Well, wow, two strikes from Kershaw. Well, who would have guessed that? Good grief. Walker strikes out for the second time. Ten in a row now. Here's Story. See if you can guess what he did his first time up.
Kershaw making his first playoff appearance for Highland Park. And it's 0-2 on story. Baby, three straight strikes to Story, and that's 11 straight strikeouts, folks. And this is the playoffs. This isn't the bottom rung team of a district game. And now Adrian Brown will make his second plate appearance. He fanned to end the first inning. Top of the fourth, Scott's with that one run in the first. And what do you know, Brown makes contact for strike one. And Justin Northwest looking for a solidly hit foul ball at this point. Two out here. Top of the fourth inning. Kershaw, such outstanding mechanics. And another fastball, Brown can't handle it. 0-2. Oh and, and Brown has entered Kershaw's web. And now a variety of options here for Kershaw. And he goes fastball again. <laughs> and Brown just does get a piece of it. Oh and two on the Northwest pitcher who's doing a good job himself. Only three hits for Highland Park. Strikeout number 12 in a row. Kershaw with a fly out to left field that ended the first for Highland Park. It's one and one the count, one away. Big time. Well, Kershaw struggling on the mound, making up for it at the play. What a blast. That wasn't a, that wasn't a fly ball. That was a 385-foot line drive. Two to nothing. And the Scots have got it all working. Number 23, really special tonight. <laughs> Holy moly. Good shot there of the Highland Park crowd. And I mentioned it's Sardine City on this Highland Park side. And top of the fifth inning, Clayton Kershaw cruising along. And he will face. One and one now the count. Hardy, unable to reach base in his first appearance. It'll be Hardy, Lawrence, and Tillotson. And one and two, Clayton Kershaw again in front of the hitter. Take a seat, Hardy. Well, folks, I hope you're enjoying this one because I've never seen any kind of performance like this. That's going to be strikeout 13 in a row, and that will bring up Jason Lawrence. Catchers made a couple of nice throws tonight. And he lays off the high fastball. Lawrence, the number five hitter. Tillotson, second baseman on deck. Six to nothing, Highland Park in control. Nothing wrong with that one. One and one the count. Oh, 
off-speed pitch, one and two. No chance for Lawrence right there. And nice of Roy not to run a replay as he knows the Lawrence family, evidently. And Jason didn't, didn't look exactly his best on that. Two and two, pitch outside. One out here in the top of the fifth inning. Scott's trying to move on to the Region 2 for a semifinals. And hopefully, as you're watching this game tonight, we'll know if we're headed to Corsicana or Colleen. Hopefully, neither place we can find a neutral side. Full count. Woo! See you later. Second full count, but Kershaw delivers the goods again. And now Tillotson will try his luck one more time. He ended the second inning with a strikeout. And really like the expression on Kershaw, not getting too excited. He's all business out there. And, you know, your great ones, they don't get too high, too low. And he starts off Tillotson with a strike inside. And this is outside. Curveball just a little bit too wide. One and one. Scott's had a six to nothing lead that evaporated last night. I somehow don't see that happening tonight. One and two on Tillotson. Three up, three down, Kershaw. And here comes Haynes further. Base hit, we're going home. Out into right field, this could be it. This could be the game winner coming around to score. O'Dwyer, ball game, and Highland Park has swept the Northwest Texans. 